Barbara Reed, Watch It Grow, Backyard Life Cycles. Watch the monarch butterfly grow. The monarch butterfly lays its tiny eggs on the bottom of a milkweed leaf. After four days, the eggs hatch and out comes a caterpillar. The caterpillar eats the milkweed leaves and grows very quickly. Soon, its skin gets too tight. The old skin slips open and falls off. In two weeks, the caterpillar is five centimeters long. It spins a silk button so it can hang upside down. The caterpillar splits its skin one last time and reveals a chrysalid. Over the next two weeks, a butterfly will grow inside. When the butterfly crawls out of the chrysalid, it dries itself in the warm sun. Then it unfolds its wings and takes flight. The beautiful monarch butterfly flies from flower to flower sipping nectar through tube-like tongues. Watch the sunflower grow. The sunflower grows from a little seed. The seed has a hard shell to protect it from the cold winter. The spring rains makes the seed split open. The roots push the earth and bring water to the growing stem. The roots in the stem grow quickly. In a few days, there are two leaves. They turn sunshine into food for the plant. The stem grows straight. Soon, there's more leaves and more leaves. A big flower bud forms on the top of the plant. By the end of the summer, the plant is very tall. The bright yellow flower turns to follow the sun across the sky. In the fall, the plant dies and droops heavy with seeds. Birds and squirrels will eat most of the seeds, but some will stay hidden under the ground. Next year, they will grow into more big beautiful sunflowers. Watch the green frog grow. The green frog lays many eggs together in a mass of jelly. The jelly protects the eggs and keeps them warm under the cold spring water. In a few days, the tiny tadpole hatches. It lives under water and attaches itself to plants it finds there. The tadpole grows quickly. It begins to swim around and to eat plants. By the time it's eight weeks old, the tadpole has sprouted back legs. Now it gulps air from the surface of the water and eats tiny bugs. The tadpole's mouth and eyes get bigger and its tail shrinks. It still lives under water, but now it has front legs that are beginning to grow. Soon, the small frog is ready to live on land, just like the big green frog. Watch the white oak grow. The tiny acorn grows all summer long. It turns brown as it ripens. In the autumn, the acorn falls to the ground. It stays buried underneath leaves and snow all winter. When the spring comes, the acorn swells and the white roots push into the ground. Soon, a shoot grows straight up and gets food from the inside of the acorn shell. It gets water from the roots in the ground. Next, the tiny oak tree grows leaves now it's called a seedling. Under the ground, the seedling's roots spread and grow. When the tree gets bigger, it's called a sapling. The sapling grows taller each year. Its trunk gets thicker and woody and brown. The oak tree grows and grows and gets bigger and bigger. When it's 50 years old, it starts to make acorns. A magnificent tree may live hundreds of years. Life cycle of a monarch butterfly. The butterfly lays an egg on a milkweed. A caterpillar hatches from the egg. It spins silk to attach itself to a leaf. It becomes a chrysalid and the butterfly grows inside. The butterfly emerges two weeks later. The butterfly flies. Life cycle of a sunflower. A seed waits through the winter. In spring, the seed takes root. The roots and stem grow. A bud develops. It blooms into a large yellow flower. In the fall, the sunflower dies and its seeds drop. Life cycle of a green frog. The green frog lays its eggs in water. In a few days, a tadpole hatches. The tadpole begins to swim and eat plants. The tadpole's legs develop and its tail shrinks. The froglet is almost ready to leave the water. The adult green frog lives on land. Life cycle of the white oak. An acorn falls to the ground. 
In the spring, the acorn takes roots. A tiny shoot begins to reach upwards. The seedling grows above and below the ground. The sapling grows taller each year. After 50 years, the oak tree makes acorns.